Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are. It's beautiful. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, to be or not to be. Today, a very, 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 very special guest. We have MM Crypto Chris in the room. We're going to talk about Bitcoin. We're going to talk about relaunch. All of that in 10 minutes. Watch the video till the end. This is going to be awesome, guys. Bam! Chris, welcome to the channel, man. Thank you for coming on the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. How are you doing? Thank you very much. I'm doing very well. I'm very glad and proud to be here. I had you on my channel already a few times, so it's amazing to be on yours. Um, just as you are pushing amazing content, you are attracting a beautiful community. I see all the love spreading in your comments. Very smart people. So it's a big pleasure for me to be here to talk about Bitcoin and whatever we want to talk about in that video. Of course, man. I love your new studio. I love the chat of V Launch on the back side. It's like brr, brr, brr. it's like the biggest growing community ever. Uh, you have the beautiful NFTs there, the black walls. It's really beautiful to have you finally on my show. Um, my apologies, I didn't invite you uh, uh, earlier. Um, Bitcoin. That is like Bitcoin is feeling different than my first crash in 2013. It's feeling different than my 2017, my second one. Um, everybody is asking the same question. Is this the bull run or is the bull run over? I really want to pick your brain on this situation. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, man, it is. We have to just face the truth. It's always different. There are some things which are always repeating, right? I mean, we always see usually on the monthly the RSI going to uh, above 90. And like we have a few different things which are repeating. That's why we say the history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes, right? So some things are similar, some things are different. And it more and more looks like that the cycles are a little bit lengthening, um, not too much, but they're, but they're getting stretched a little bit from time to time. And actually this time, I was also predicting that um, this bull market will go into the next year, January, February, March. But the last dump was a little bit concerning as we are usually used to, and that's again, an argument for the, the history not perfectly repeating to a bullish December, right? And now we have this big, big crash down. So on the monthly candles, if you're just plotting the Bitcoin chart on the monthly candles, you can see that we are in a very, very long uptrend on the monthly candles, consecutively putting in higher lows, higher lows on the monthly candles. But now with this dump, this monthly candle is below the monthly uptrend. And whenever we are breaking a trend on the daily, the daily turns bearish. Whenever we um, break an uptrend on the weekly, the weekly turns bearish. And now... Right now, the Bitcoin price is breaking a trend on the monthly to the downside. The good story, the good news about this is, let me quickly check. It's the, it's the 10th of December. So we have 20 more days to turn this red candle into a green candle. So what we need to confirm that this bull market from a technical analysis standpoint is still valid and is still going on is definitely a green candle for December because then we would be closing above the trend. And for this, we need to get above the 60,000 US dollar level. So the moment we go above the 60, we close the December above the 60, the bull trend is on uh, intact and we actually can expect higher price targets just from a technical standpoint. But then look at the fundamental standpoint. Obviously, we should just go up always, right? I mean, um, from a fundamental standpoint, we should be in a, in a nonstop bull market because we just print as crazy. So um, from that standpoint, we this bull market should be going on anyways, but obviously we need cycles. We need to shake out the weekends. We need to um, we need to go down because everyone can always make money and be profitable. So there will always be bear markets, and the next bear market is coming very soon. Only question is, did it start right now, or will we extend it for a few more months? And I think the monthly candle closing this year in December will give us the answer. Are we above sixty thousand continuation of the bull market? Potentially 100, I think even 200,000 US dollars for Bitcoin will be closed below, historically at least, every single time we closed uh, below the monthly uptrend, the trend broke and we went into a at least 10, 12 month bear market. Yeah, I, I can see exactly the same happening at the moment. Yeah, the daily, I think we are finding support on the, the 200 moving average. I think the weekly yeah. on the 50 weekly moving average and indeed the monthly um, should become a green candle because else... We are really screwed, man. So I saw this really cool video in that on the, on the lengthening cycles. Everybody is talking about these lengthening cycles. Still, the strange thing is 2013, we hit the bull market in uh, November.
November 2017 and December. So it's only shifting one month, maybe 2021 and in January 2022. Um, what I think is that a lot of people don't understand what the lengthening of the bull cycle means because it's only shifting one month in the four-year cycle. So how can it be lengthening? That's the question that people ask me. Is there any, do you have any like thought about that? Yeah, it just always depends how you calculate, right? If you just look at where the bull market highs, of course, November 13 or December 17, then of course it's just one month. That would be then 40, uh, 49 months like in this case, and then another 49. But if you look at from where the bull bear market low was to the bull market high, then this is actually lengthening. So if you check where was the bear market high in 2014, that was, I don't know what month, it was $150 in specific month, then this time period was actually shorter than this time period right now, but it was longer than the previous time period from the low in 2011, I think, to the high in 2013. So from this perspective, bear market low to bull market high, the cycles are lengthening with a, to, with a higher degree. That just so it, means that the, the, the bear markets are vary, varying in, in length also. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I tell the people, always the same. Um, you think we are still like... I know how you think. You're not like making a statement when it ends or what it ends. If we would be in a bull market still into 2022, um, what is still your target then for Bitcoin? Yeah, as I mentioned before, I think we can easily knock out the 200. I was actually in 2018, 19 for this bull market predicting 275. Well, now probably it seems like a little bit high, but um, honestly, if we are closing this month green, um, if we are going with above 60,000 into January, um, I think this seems very realistic again, because all it needs is a few hundred percent pump. That sounds crazy, but now let's just look back into December yeah. when we were into, into 2017, when in August or so, we were still at $22,000. And then like within like three, four months, we went 10X, right? So what do we need for 200,000 uh, from January to maybe February, March, another three months, that's just the three X, right? 65,000 times three is already 200,000 uh, 200, almost. That's a three X. So of yeah. course we have diminishing returns to scale percentage wise, but well, when we did a 10 X in the last parabolic cycle, the last three months in the last cycle, then this time maybe we can get a three X. It's not too unrealistic. The numbers seem crazy, right? From 60 to 200, it's a $140,000 difference. But it's just the three X, right? Yeah, <laughs> that, I that's, completely that's agree. the magic. Completely agree. You know, I, I watched back. Uh, Facebook reminded me to a video that I posted like four years ago, like in the first week of December. We were around 12, 13 K. You know, we doubled in two weeks. So, you know, in Bitcoin, everything is possible. Um, exactly. Thank you for your opinion. And I know you are a long-term holder. I know you are advising people just to keep stacking sets because, you know, in the, in the end, uh, we will go higher and higher and higher as the volume will increase, as more and more people, uh, traders, investment companies, governments will, you know, use Bitcoin as a store of value and, of course, peer-to-peer -peer cash. Um, during all the videos you're making daily, during everything you're doing, the trading, the communities, you thought about, oh, I'm not busy enough. I need to start something new. I'm going to start the biggest community ever, which will grow as fast as ever, which will reach 100k te Telegram subscribers, etc. V launch. How did you come up with this idea? And please tell me what is going to happen with V launch. Just a quick correction. We are 200,000. No. <laughs> 200,000 already. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, because we have two groups. We have yeah. the projects groups and the token group. And it's like 200 almost together. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was actually not busy enough. And now I'm too busy. But I like this kind of busyness because it's really awesome. Uh, we are building this project for the community, of course, for the financial benefit of everyone involved, obviously, but uh, we want to really focus on the community and make the community as big and as happy as possible, which is the reason why the tokens are not going to be sold to the public. They are going to be given to the public, right? So whoever is part of the community on Telegram or Twitter or something, we don't want their money. We want their partnership. We want their, their engagement. So whoever is following us on Twitter, in the community, texting, helping other people out, and see the lovely community in the background texting is going to get the tokens in the end for free. Some people will get more, some people will get less, depends on when they were joining, how much they are helping and so on, right? Um, so that's one good thing. We are focusing much less on VCs 
but we are bringing a lot of KOLs and a lot of investors who actually have reach, who have the big community, so we can gather the whole crypto community in one. So now we have more than 100, probably almost 200 KOLs and influencer in, who are part of the project, who are partnering up with the project, who have their own stake in the project. And of course, the more successful it gets, the happier we are, the happier the community is, the happier the KOL is. And the whole narrative of this project is that everyone knows Decentraland, Sandbox, and all these crazy projects, which maybe many people feel like I missed out on it. So we want to launch future top tier gaming, metaverse projects, and sometimes also projects with uh, outside of the space on our launch pad. And because we have the strongest community, because we have all the KOLs in place and all the good connections, we are turning it around. Now it's not us pitching to the project, it's the project pitching to us. So now we can choose the best projects actually before they launch, launch the normal launch pad, get higher allocations, get more community members in. And um, of course, on the other side, expose the project to a much bigger crowd of people, which is big value add for them, big value add for our community, big value add for us, because obviously the tokens our community is going to be holding, we want to hold them as well. So we want to make it as valuable as possible. So what we did is we tried to create it's something which has a win-win-win situation for everyone, where we just bundle a lot of synergies together and get everyone in and make everyone happy in the end. That's the goal. Amazing. That's also, of course, the reason why I became part of it, because I really saw the strength of uh, decentralizing like the launchpad industry into taking the power to all the, uh, the influencers. If you combine all the followers of all the KOLs, how many followers are we talking about? Is it like millions? Uh, our biggest one already has 18 million on YouTube. Wow. Right. We have a gaming YouTuber, Willy Rex. Yeah. He has 18 million on YouTube, 7.8 million on Twitter. That's one. And of course we have Altcoin Daily. And of course we have Bitboy Crypto. And of course we have Carl from the Moon, Da Vinci, Didi Taihutu and all the good people. So um, if you combine that, I didn't do that. I should actually do that. I have a spreadsheet. So I will just no. make an equation on the bottom. It's going to be a lot. It's yeah, going to be a lot. But the, the, the thing that's interesting me in, in this one is that you say like this gaming YouTuber has 19 million followers almost. That is also how you can see that we in crypto are really still a very small community. Like the biggest one has about a million or two million max. So uh, 1.4 or something, yeah. A lot of growth potential there for uh, all our influencers. Um, thank you so much for adding all this value to the industry. Thank you so much for creating this beautiful V-Launch. Um, is there anything that you want to tell the community um, from out your perspective about the Bitcoin market or V launch uh, that we missed? Yeah, few few things. So for Bitcoin, obviously, as you said, I tell people to stack sets, and that is definitely what I will do forever. Um, if you are trading, fine, but please keep your trading portfolio a small portion because by buying and holding, you have certainty. If you think that the US dollar will go down, you should think that the Bitcoin will go up. So why should you sell or short Bitcoin? It's like longing or buying the US dollar, right? So I would always say think long term buy bitcoin hold and exclude the noise don't look at mainstream media just hold and sleep on it right and if you are a trader perfect go and trade i'm doing that myself i don't i think you are trading a little bit as well but it shouldn't be everything you own obviously for the love of god please guys be a hodler and join us in the next five to ten years um because uh they are gonna be very very great that's the one thing then uh, the other thing for everyone who's interested in vlaunch of course Follow Twitter, join Telegram. It's for free, right? I mean, just be part of a great community, get some tokens for free. I don't think, um, I don't think there's any downside to it, obviously. So join it, but please make sure that you are not joining the fake or scam accounts because they are plenty on Twitter, plenty on Telegram, and they will ask you for money and whatever. We will never do that. We don't ask you for money. We don't ask you for anything. So please, please join only the legit links. I don't know if you provide it here. Otherwise, you find it, find it on the VLaunch uh, Twitter bio. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I'm very proud to be here, man. You added so much value to the crypto community since you went public like crazy uh, on, on CNN or whatever, like crazy news shows it was. Definitely, uh, you were a big inspiration for me. I remember how I watched you on German television before I joined crypto. So it's for me a big honor and pleasure to be on your channel. Thank you so much for these warm words. There is one bonus question because your answer in the last couple of minutes, there's a bonus question because that made me think 
for you and for me, it's obvious we stay in Bitcoin. But there is also moments for me and for other people, for example, that they doubt because they use Bitcoin to create more dollars. So the moment that Bitcoin is going to crash, they are always thinking, oh, should I sell Bitcoin now into dollars? While we understand that dollars is undergoing a huge inflation, um, what is your secret to not be influenced by that fear? Because, you know, everybody's always, what if Bitcoin crashes to zero? Should I hatch a little bit, a $1 million into a bank account? Or, you know, this yeah. is a huge problem in crypto. <clears throat> I saw two things. I have, number one, I don't have a portfolio tracker. It would be fun, but I don't have one. So I don't even know how much, uh, how much US dollar value I own. Um, that is one thing. So whenever the market crashes by 10%, if I would look at my total, total portfolio value in US dollar, then start calculating what I could have bought with it. And now I would have it for free if I sold and then bought back. Besides, do a bit, uh, instead of doing that, I just chill. I don't even know. I don't care. It goes down 10%, whatever. And another thing is just start calculating in Bitcoin. Let's say you own half a Bitcoin. The price goes down 50%, you still own half a Bitcoin. And you can even turn it around. If you have some US dollar on the sidelines, you will just get more Bitcoin for the US dollar. So Bitcoin stays always the same. If you have one Bitcoin, the price goes down 50%, you still have one Bitcoin. No reason to panic. You can start panicking if someone hacks your computer or, or, or gets your private keys and takes the Bitcoin, then 0.5 Bitcoin turns into zero Bitcoin. As long as this is not happening, there's no reason to panic. And if you start measuring, calculating and thinking in Bitcoin terms, things are going to turn out uh, very differently for you. Thank you so much. Guys, um, Chris, thank you again for being on the show. Guys, if you did enjoy this valuable information about Bitcoin, about VLaunch, about mindset, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell 10,000 times. Uh, I don't know if there's a use 10,000 times, but give 10,000 thumbs up. Also, okay. Uh, thank you, Chris. Thank you guys for watching and see you tomorrow again and a beautiful day from PlayaCom in Mexico. Bye-bye. <laughs>